we've been able to, we're putting together a gearbox that will be no more than this large and this wide, and that will constitute the same power and the same ratio as the gearbox sitting on that stand. So it's 160 more applications for it. Well, it gets to the point where it's so light and so small that we can now put it into a train system and actually get it as a movable or a portable unit. Jerry and I and, and Kurt all believe we need to keep a major portion of this in Ohio. We can make it all here, so why not keep most of it here? But we also realize that there are companies out there necessary for us to bring this to fruition. And we're going to need to do that. Business plans, uh, marketing plans, everything is all associated. It's all in front of us. We've taken on a lot of that now on a minor basis, but we need to get to the next level. That's our next level. And this is this. where the local and state infrastructure help them connect the dots. Correct. Find the resources that can partner with them to take the product to market. You, you would be surprised within Ohio how many dots there are in wind energy. And we've been able to connect quite a few of them between Case uh, and uh, Toledo, University of Toledo. And we've all, we've gone through all of the work to, to put those together. Leaving, hopefully, to uh, more jobs is, is coming from the manufacturing sector. And that is really encouraging to me. Um, and that's, uh, you know, I just think it's greater evidence, but I think all of us here, have believed for a long time that the United States of America <clears throat> needs a comprehensive manufacturing policy. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, and and uh, perhaps what we're seeing uh, as we emerge from this recession will provide the impetus that is needed to make that a reality.